a mystery tank near Space Launch Complex 6 at South Vandenberg Air Force Base spotlights one challenge faced by crews battling the 4,500-acre canyon fire. The tank is a half mile from the former Space Shuttle launch pad, which is now home to the Delta IV rocket program. Firefighters at the scene noted it appeared to be a water tank but wanted confirmation it wasn't anything potentially hazardous and flammable, according to emergency scanner reports. A short time later, confirmation came. It was a water tank. In addition to the normal challenges faced when fighting a vegetation fire, Canyon Fire crews were coping with the unique features found around the West Coast Space Launch Site and on a military base. Containment remains at 0% as of Monday afternoon while flames move toward the southern boundary of the 99,000-acre base and Sudden Ranch area, VAFB officials said. On Monday afternoon, an ambulance was headed to Vandenberg to pick up at least one firefighter for an unspecified medical incident. Two firefighters also were injured Sunday, according to Captain David Zanaboni from Santa Barbara County Fire Department. The fire remained active Monday, and officials expected the size to increase but were not expected to have an update until evening. As the dark black cloud hovered over the area, flames were visible above the hillside ranch, drawing the attention of dozens of drivers who stopped to watch. The blaze is moving at a slow to moderate speed, Vandenberg representatives added as the fire marks its third day since starting at 5.20 p.m. Saturday near Arguello and Santa Inez Ridge roads. The fire has caused power outages in several South Base facilities, which were not identified. At least two rockets and several satellites reportedly are at South Base facilities. Those buildings are currently operating on generator power, VAFB officials said in a statement. Civil engineers will sustain the generators until downed electrical lines can be repaired and commercial power is restored to base facilities. The fire continues to burn primarily on base property, but moved off base to scorch a grassy area near San Miguelito Canyon. The area where it burned is not near populated areas, however. Rugged terrain remote location and drought-starved vegetation are among the challenges firefighters are facing. Firefighters also have been warned about possible unexploded ordnance in the area, leftover remnants from when the base was a training facility during World War II and the Korean War. All crews have had the necessary briefings on the unexploded ordnance hazards and they are taking precautions, a Vandenberg spokesman said. The cause of the fire remains under investigation. In addition to firefighters on the ground, several helicopters and air tankers are assisting crews. With billowing clouds visible throughout the Lompoc Valley, fire information continues to be scant. VAFP public affairs officials have provided few updates to counteract the scary scene. On Sunday, as VAFP officials said the fire had grown to 1,200 acres, Emergency radio reports put the size at more than 2,600 acres. Smoke from the fire prompted the Santa Barbara County Public Health Department and the County Air Pollution Control District to issue an air quality watch that will remain in effect until conditions change. Some smoke has blown offshore but winds can change, and smoke may affect a range of areas in the county, the notice said. Parts of the county may also experience falling ash. Smoke pushed by winds from the south extended throughout San Luis Obispo County as well. Vandenberg Air Force Base has been the site of several fires through the years, including the deadly 1977 Honda Canyon fire that killed the base commander, the fire chief, an assistant fire chief and a bulldozer operator. In the early 1990s, a Minuteman I missile veered off course and was destroyed by safety officials, with flaming pieces raining onto North Base, sparking a fire that threatened the community of Casmilia. The 2000 Harris Grade fire initially burned 9,700 acres after starting on oil company property. Flames raced across VAFP property, jumped the four lanes of Highway 1 and headed toward Casmilia. While the initial fire was contained quickly, 
a little-known peat bog in the path burned for months, with a stinky odor wafting over the North County as the Air Force poured millions of gallons of water on the site to extinguish the blaze, blaze.